Hello, everyone. Finally, we are here. We are Princess Computer. Very happy to be here and meet you all guys in this amazing conference. So before we give our presentation, let us introduce ourselves. Princess Computer is a music video studio based in nowhere because we work home office. We are both our individual artists. My name is Chuzu, the founder, CEO, director, and 3D Blender artist. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here as well. Um, my name is Lloyd Marquardt. I am based in Stuttgart, Germany. And I'm mainly a 3D artist, but um, also, as of lately, have been responsible for the pipeline coordination and a little bit of coding in our team. <laughs> so we have been already three years working with a lot of different musicians. Mostly they are Korean pop artists. Um, before we show our works, I would say the most important philosophy of our studio is freedom. Because we never do some commissioned job, we don't do some executing things from the outside. Since we are both individual artists as well, we would like to interpret the music from our side and bring the feeling to the screen. This is basically what we are doing. So our job is collaboration in between visual artists and musical artists. And today, we are going to talk about our latest work, Feeling of You. And the musician, his name is Cho Yong Pil. I can imagine probably some of you guys expected some different figure from actually who it is, because we call him as the legend, legend of K-pop. So like uh, maybe some people could imagine BTS or Blackpink, <laughs> but this guy <laughs> is the musician. But actually, he's the real legend of Korean pop music. He's 73 years old, and he started his music when he was 18. So his music literally started Korean pop music history. He has a lot of records, he has a lot of hits, and even he's the one who made the first music video in South Korea. And he never stopped music. So it was his 20th album, that we, our project. And he also hit like the chart number one two years ago, three years ago, so he's still very alive. Um, then always the following question was how we got the job. Actually, he just found us. We didn't apply or we didn't send anything. He just found um, our previous work and emailed us. So it was really miracle happening for us. So we could do the great job. So before the presentation, um, before we give too much detail of the workflow, we would like to show our latest work first. And please don't forget that we are only two. <laughs> very tiny studio and entire production period was one month.
Thank you. So yeah, this was the music video, Feeling of You, for Cho Young Pil. And as you can see, it's a lot of work, a lot of tasks in Blender, but um, yeah, which we split up between each other. But for today's talk, we wanted to talk about more uh, the art concept on the one hand. So Chuzu will tell you how she came up with the idea for the music video, some of the art, and then um, Finally, I'll tell you about our workflow in Blender, especially as a remote team of two people, how we managed to do that efficiently. Thank you. So as we emphasize that for us, having this freedom and creativity is most important philosophy for our studio, we first get the music and listen again and again and again and again until the inspiration comes out. And I actually draw very traditionally, like with pencil and watercolor. Actually, we met in the art school, so <laughs> we are very like um, open with a different medium. And for this latest project, I was coming up with some childlike style because I could not imagine that this song is from 73 years old guy. I felt like his strength is, he keeps the purity for art and innocence. So I started to draw as I did when I was seven years old, which wasn't not so long time ago. So like <laughs> sun and flower and um, trees and mountains like in this process then most of the mood and style colors and the characters comes out and for the specific settings or specific things i also reference a lot from history of art like paintings or other artworks in this case i reference um, korean old paintings from 15th century so from this painting i recreated the setup for, for the story, like three different goals, three, three different dreams. I don't know if um, people could catch the main story of it. And um, also for characters, I got some reference from Korean folk paintings with tiger and bird. Like it has a lot of theory and background stories, but today I will not give so much detail. So I just wanted to say I got a lot of reference and draw the drawings and we both start to, yeah, modeling and texturing, rigging to the blender and the bird as well. Um, the last character, the boy, was of course from the Jo Young Pil, but I didn't want to make it so realistic. I would say that it would not good, so like, it would not fit so much for our <laughs> video style. Instead, I just took his um, symbols, which is sunglasses and tie, and I made the guitar like as an air guitar. Yeah, this is how the three characters were born. And all uh, after these kind of settings and then mood and styling, um, I also draw the storyboard. So each specific scene has the storyboard. So I draw everything with hand, then, yeah, this is how the art concept starts. And I will hand over to Lloyd how we, after that, how we work together. Thank you, yeah. Chuzu. So let's get into Blender. <laughs> so we had the storyboard, and that was actually the point um, where it transitions. So. We took those storyboard drawings um, and brought them into a timeline synced with the music. So the bottom row, this is just a Blender video sequencer screenshot, the bottom row, every clip is one drawing and this allowed us to get a really good feel for the timing and also just our general workload. And that was also the point where we noticed that we have a total of 46 shots and still only one month to go. Um, so my, uh, my focus was on creating more efficient ways for us to collaborate. And that starts actually with this timeline because right now this timeline was in one blend file, right? And we're not going to make the entire music video in one blend file, obviously. So um, we started uh, 
thinking like, what do we do with this down the line when the timing changes? Um, and then I thought back to the Blender Studio pipeline actually, and a tool they use um, that solves this problem, which may, may, may or may not be familiar with. Uh, that tool is called Kitsu, and here is a screenshot of what that looked like. Um, for anyone who is unfamiliar with this, uh, Kitsu is like basically a task management software, but for animation, which is in itself pretty amazing. Um, it allows you to um, assign pe different people to tasks, uh, get previews of what the others are doing, basically a whole lot of stuff, more than we have time for. Um, but yeah, a, an add-on developed by the Blender Studio allowed us to get that timeline into these rows with tasks. And out of Kitsu, I would say the two most important things for us were a very easy workflow for uploading previews to the server. Oh yeah, uh, Kitsu is open source and self-hostable, so um, both of us could access it from the internet. And that allowed us to constantly see what the other person was doing, um, and also leave comments on progress, because we didn't want to have that daily 5 a.m. video conference meeting, which we still ended up having, but <laughs> um, it was good to have an asynchronous channel of communication as well. And then the second point that goes hand in hand with that is that we could view the entire music video at any time. And that um, was very essential in getting an overview of the total flow of the video, um, you know, composition, storytelling, and so on. Just very quickly about files, because we are a remote team uh, that's working out of cloud storage, so I thought I'd touch up on it briefly. Um, it's really basic, actually. We just had uh, files for every asset, almost. So assets meaning characters and props. And the way that we brought these into scenes was through linking and library overrides. Um, if you've not worked with them much, definitely check it out. It saves a lot of space and is also really efficient for collaboration because every, like each of us could be in charge of a different prop, a different character, and we would all get the updates in our shot files, um, which was great for iteration also. And this also looks way cuter in the asset browser than it looks from the text selection um, UI, so that was a nice side factor. So, the final part had arrived, uh, rendering. And my initial instinct was to, lead, to go into some kind of, you know, render management setup because all these shots were already so nicely organized into files and I just thought it would be really easy to start and automate. But then it turned out we didn't even really need it because we were rendering, rendering with EV anyways and the frames were super quick and uh, setting that up would probably have taken longer than just rendering. So we started rendering on our own hardware. Um, there was a point in rendering where some scripting <laughs> became uh, needed, and this is like obviously the most basic script you can make in Blender, just setting properties to values. But this was just very helpful because all the shot files that basically had different settings, and we just copy-pasted this and um, ran it and rendered. Automation, am I right? <laughs> so, finally, this is our cute little render farm. <laughs> two PCs of mine and two from Chusu and one even in South Korea at Chusu's parents' house <laughs> working overtime. So it was a truly international render farm. <laughs> And uh, yeah, for anyone interested in the pipeline stuff, I can't recommend the Blender Studio pipelines resources enough. So definitely check that out if you're interested in that. Thank you. For the last, we would like to share some little reactions for our latest work. Very happily, it went very successful. Like we got a lot of clicks, we got a lot of commentaries, and Twitter, Instagram, everything, and even we like our project were like literally every day news on the news and my grandmother was super happy. <laughs> yeah. 
like some cultural critic TV show, cultural, like they were talking about what it's about and da 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 da. Um, yeah, as an artist, it was a miracle moment, but the most important or most grateful moment for us was that we got new fans, which is pretty different from our previous fans. Our previous, previous works were mostly with our generation, like our age, um, rappers, rock bands, jazz musicians, so our fans were teenagers or 20s, but now we got a lot of fans like our parents' generation or even older generations. Their commenters are so sweet. It's not like some hater things. I really like, oh, these young, young guys did a great job. It was really, really amazing. And um, Cho Yong-pil really did, the musician really liked our work, so now he does enormous tour, concert, and show our work in the biggest stadium in South Korea. So. <laughs> um, as, as artists, doing art is giving inspiration and get inspiration back. So in this process, in this latest work, we were really, really happy. Yeah, this was Prince's computer. We're really honored to be invited here because Blender was the tool that made all of this possible for us. And um, we're just feeling really grateful to everyone who's worked on it and the whole community here. It's, a, it's been so nice. And um, we are a very flexible team. We are artists. So we are also very open to meet new members for our team. So please do not hesitate to contact us. Find us on Instagram, web page, and everywhere. Prin princesscomputer.com. So. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>